to, to put this to rest. What about his birth announcements in the Hawaii newspapers? I can answer, this. I can answer that one. Thanks for that question. I, I was hoping that one didn't come up. The birth announcements and that uh, birth registry, which is just line items. We have information, not information, we have evidence. And then we can prove beyond a doubt that not only are foreign births registered in those birth announcements and the line item registrations, we also know and have information, not information, let me correct myself, we also have documented evidence of two adopted individuals that were breathing three years prior were listed as newborn infants. It's not creditable because it doesn't tell us anything. We know a birth took place, and, and uh, maybe a little homework to clear it up. In 2000, let me finish. The the, the, that's the newspapers. Okay. That way that happens, it happens with the newspapers. There's no distinction as to where someone was born. There's no distinction if they were adopted, they're just listed. It's not creditable information. In 2000, the Inspector General issued a report about the rampant problem of birth certificate fraud. And within the opening paragraphs of his report, he states that a birth certificate's intended purpose was only to register the event of a live birth, not anything else, and in and of itself is not credible information to prove identification or citizenship. There has to be other documentation to be considered. That's right from the government. 